As it turns out, the fate of two worlds is a matter yet to be resolved in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, a supersized semi-sequel boasting a bevy of additions apparently too big for the britches of mere DLC. Instead, it's heading to market as a budget-priced, standalone game, just months after the original came off the printing presses in February this year. Frugal fighting fans may balk at the news, but the content that Ultimate promises to deliver provides compelling reasons to dish out the dough, starting with a comprehensively retuned fighting system. The notoriously brutal X-Factor has been defanged in the damage department, but is now able to be used in the air for extended combo capability. Meanwhile, team aerial combos also now diminish your opponent's hypermeter while bolstering your own. It's these new creases in the game's established 3-on-3 tag team format, along with a sweeping range of character balance changes, that promise a deeper and more level playing experience to come. But past mere tweaks and upgraded art assets that include 8 new levels and a new interface, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 deals its biggest hand by bringing 12 all-new fighters to the mix, bringing the game's total character count up to a beefy 50 in all. Representing the Capcom side of the equation is fan-favorite Strider Hiryu, looking true to his classic 2D self down to his mechanical menagerie of weaponized animal contraptions. Firebrand of Ghosts and Goblins fame marks his second surprising appearance in a Capcom fighter, conforming neatly to the frantic pace of the Versus series with a dizzying array of breath and flight-based attacks. On the Marvel front, Johnny Blaze rides again with Ghost Rider's infernal moveset of Hellfire and Chains, while the fourth Avenger on the roster, Hawkeye, brandishes a tricky projectile-based playstyle focused on keeping enemies safely subdued from a distance. Capcom has been officially mum on the rest of the expanded roster thus far, but the community seems confident that certain characters, including the likes of lawyer extraordinaire Phoenix Wright and Doctor Strange, will be joining the fighting fray in November. While nine months is a noticeable improvement from the 11 years it took Marvel vs. Capcom 3 to come to fruition, will Ultimate MVC 3 be a case of too much Marvel, much too soon? Stay tuned, true believers, for more information in the not-so-distant future.